The home cooks are fighting for a spot in the top 11. No, 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 no. With a difficult fish elimination challenge. Keep an eye on it for me. So our strategy is to assign the most difficult fish to the strongest home cooks here. I got monkfish. So sweaty, so sweaty. And Sean Hickey is struggling to explain his dish to Michael. Whoa, 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 Sean, Sean, Sean. You're destroying a beautiful piece of fish. Yes, I am. What do you plan to do with it? I'm going to uh, wrap it in uh, the shape of a rose and bake it with uh, citrus butter sauce, red rice, and bacon green beans. So basically, you're taking this beautiful filet and turning it into the biggest fish garnish we've ever seen, a vintage fish garnish. Trust me, it'll look beautiful when it's done. It'll look beautiful, I guarantee you. Well, best of luck with that. Thank you. Uh, this dish is a little innovative. Hopefully, the judges will see that in me, and I won't be going home today. April Lee. Hi, Chef Claudio. How are you? Fish out of water, this girl. I couldn't help notice, but you were completely blindsided when you found out that you received one of the most difficult fishes to master. You know, I couldn't even say the fish. I was like, uh, hickey, hockey. I guess they wanted me out. Terry and Jennifer are intimidated by me because I'm a bit of a wild card. They're starting to see that I'm a strong cook. And what is it? What are you making here? It's a delicate fish, and I've got a really beautiful light watercress and radish salad with some really beautiful Asian flavors. All right, good luck. Thank you. Ten minutes. Meat is all about minutes. Fish is about seconds. Seconds make a very big difference when you're cooking fish. Smell it, Jen. It smells beautiful, girl. It is a lot more tricky, I think, than cooking chicken or beef because it is so delicate. Light and delicate. There you go. I'm OK. Not great, but OK. Carrot sauce will not thicken. Cook down, mama. Cauliflower will not puree. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Fire, <gasps> fire, fire. Oh my god! Woo! Here we go, fire! OK, Mary needs to just calm down. She needs to calm down. Breathe, Mary. I got it. This is not at all going how I wanted this to go. You've got four minutes, honey. I know. Not a lot of time left. I need to flip it over. I don't want to lose the skin. Look at Jacqueline. Look at her fish. <gasps> yes! Thank God. Beautiful. Veronica, she's deep frying the whole head and spine. If she pulls that off, it could be a winner. I got one of the easiest fish here. I need to go above and beyond. Jeremy is doing a Southeast Asian style dish. He handled that monkfish surprisingly well. I cannot believe what Sean is doing with his sturgeon. He wants to roll it and make it look like a rose. One minute left. <sighs> I'm so happy with this. So freaking happy with this. Whoops! The mess. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I banged it out, I didn't think I could. I don't want to go home. It's exactly what I want. I just don't know if it's what the judges want. Looking down at this dish, it is not me. 45 minutes is a short amount of time to do something for people that tell you if they hate it or not. So I just don't want to go home. Now we're going to taste all of your dishes. First up is Jacqueline. I'm elated. I have never produced such a beautiful dish in my life, and I can't wait for them to taste it. It's a grilled mackerel. And the sauce is an almond puree. The beets I cooked in beet juice, roasted tomatoes, and then there's a radish pickle. It's a tricky fish to cook because it's so thin. It's perfect. It's a beautifully balanced, beautiful to look at dish. Honestly, it looks like we're in a restaurant right now. A great restaurant. Thank you so much. It is such a big, distinct flavor on mackerel. Yes. So what did you use to counter that? I did a pickle on the pieces of radish you see. Beautiful balance. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. Great dish. <laughs> Michelle, please come up with your dish. It's pan-seared sole with oyster mushroom, rapini, and a citrus risotto. Typically, this is something that I would serve at home. These are some of my favorite ingredients. Beautiful fish. Moist, tender, succulent. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you, chef. But you gotta add some magic. What I think we need to see 
is less of this safety zone, the rapini, the mushroom, just taking it a little bit outside your comfort zone. Do you think you have that in you? Absolutely, chef. I have to do more than just what I've been doing. So now I have to bring it. I know I have to bring it. Mary, please bring up your dish. It's a steelhead trout and a brown butter cauliflower mash. What are you thinking right now? I think the flavors are there. The plating is not what I wanted. Hmm. Why is it so lumpy? The cauliflower wouldn't puree the, the way I wanted it to. It's not so good. It doesn't have the sophistication that I would hope to see from you. The only thing that can give you a safe haven here is the fish. I know. What is this here? There's a pin bone. A bone in your fish is a big no-no. I really, I truly apologize. Maybe five minutes in, I started feeling frazzled. This was a game of strategy, as well as cooking. You know what I think? I think Jennifer and Terry want you out.